This story is from the year 1971. Dorian Harper worked as a keeper at the Northville Lighthouse off the U.S. coast of Florida. As a lighthouse keeper, Dorian's primary duties included operating the beacon, keeping the lens and lantern room meticulously clean, and maintaining the lighthouse equipment. He also maintained detailed logs of weather conditions, maritime traffic, and any odd incidents. The Florida waters were known for their wild turbulence and unpredictable storms, making the role of the lighthouse keeper crucial for the safety of passing ships. Dorian had assisted sailors during times of emergency and had thus earned a stellar reputation. On the night of December 21, 1971, Dorian Harper mysteriously disappeared while working at the Norville Lighthouse. People close to Dorian knew very well that Dorian was a mentally stable family man. A team of two experienced investigators was immediately rushed to Florida to investigate the bizarre disappearance of Dorian. The investigators were intrigued by the fact that the lighthouse was locked from the inside on the night of Dorian's sudden disappearance. How on earth could he have vanished without a trace when the lighthouse door was locked from inside with an extremely heavy metal lock? Quite interestingly, after the investigators broke the lock to gain entry into the lighthouse, they noticed something much more intriguing. Dorian had made a final entry in his log book before disappearing. It said, the waters are acting crazy, must fetch some equipment, 1 a.m. The investigators knew that no matter how wildly the sea water behaved, it couldn't have risen up to the height of the lighthouse beacon and swallow Dorian. Had this been the case, then the log book would have either been swept away or become wet. The implausibility was extremely obvious to the lighthouse investigators. Nevertheless, the key question still remained unanswered. How did Dorian vanish without a trace? Nearly 52 years later, in the summer of 2023, a team of lighthouse historians decided to send two smart investigators once more to the Northville Lighthouse. This time, the team planned to use advanced forensics to crack the cold case. While inspecting the floor of the lighthouse deck, the senior investigator noticed a vertical crack in the floor. This crack was slightly wider than all the others, prompting the duo to use a long metal rod to investigate further. To their utter surprise, they found a small hidden door right next to the floor crack, which they immediately opened with the metal rod. This door led into a hidden lighthouse staircase that was dark and mysterious. The investigators immediately requested police backup and lit up the hidden staircase with powerful lights. One of the investigators climbed down the slippery, moist, and extremely narrow stairway. A ghostly shock awaited him at the bottom of the mystery stairway. A skeleton lay motionless on the lighthouse floor. Next to the skeleton was an extinguished lamp and a long metal rod. Advanced forensics revealed that the skeleton indeed belonged to Dorian Harper, the lighthouse keeper who had vanished nearly 52 years ago. The North American town of Gravesend was well known for its natural beauty. Nestled between rugged cliffs and scenic hills, the town boasted stunning views of the surrounding coastal landscape. Towering redwoods and ancient oaks decorated the picturesque landscape, their branches reaching towards the blue sky in a majestic display of nature's grandeur. The town had several historic structures built in the early 1850s. One such structure included a 180-feet-tall lighthouse that went by the name Misty Bay Beacon. Perched on a rocky headland overlooking the azure waters of Misty Bay, the lighthouse guided ships safely through the perilous waves. According to legend, the enigmatic bell on the deck of the lighthouse rang, presumably on its own, on certain days of the year. The lighthouse was closed to visitors, making it impossible to gain access to the deck to observe the bell when it rang. In fact, the town of Gravesend was known far and wide because of this supposedly paranormal phenomenon. On the night of April 16, 2003, which was a full moon night, Isabella, a young woman from a nearby town, 
decided to investigate the mysterious case of the ringing bell. Equipped with a telescopic camera, she strategically positioned herself on a hill facing the misty bay beacon. At around 1 a.m., she heard the bell ring thrice. As soon as that happened, she pointed her telescopic camera at the lighthouse. Isabella could not believe what she saw. A mysterious person fully covered in a black robe was seen near the lighthouse bell. How did this mystery person reach the deck of the lighthouse when the door below was permanently closed to visitors? Was she seeing a ghost? Isabella wanted to get to the bottom of this deep mystery. After taking several photographs and a video, Isabella headed towards Misty Bay Beacon. At a distance of about a hundred feet from the beacon, she saw the hooded person emerging from the ground adjoining an old tree. Clearly the lighthouse had a hidden underground tunnel that was not known to anyone. Equipped with this information, Isabella now decided to confront the mystery person. Stop right there, will you? I saw you ring the bell. I have photographs in my possession," said Isabella as she ran towards the spooky stranger. The stranger collapsed to the ground, laughing hysterically. The next day, the local newspaper carried the story of an individual with mental health issues who was once employed as a keeper at the lighthouse. This story is from the year 1990. The Southern Valley Lighthouse was known for its share of mysteries. Legend had it that the lighthouse contained a trove of historical secrets, waiting to be discovered. In August 1990, a young enthusiast named Alex, with a profound interest in ancient and abandoned lighthouses, decided to pay a visit to the Southern Valley Lighthouse. Alex had heard countless stories about the enigmatic structure and was determined to uncover its hidden truths. He was an undergraduate from Boston University. The lighthouse stood tall and imposing against the backdrop of a clear blue sky, its weathered exterior narrating tales of years gone by. As Alex ascended the spiral staircase, the air grew cooler and the scent of the sea became more pronounced. Reaching the observation deck, Alex was greeted by epic views of the vast, rolling sea and a nearby graveyard. The graveyard, long abandoned, was as mysterious as the lighthouse. Both were historical structures built in the late 1890s, their stonework covered in ivy and moss, adding to the aura of mystery. The wind whispered through the cracks in the lighthouse, creating a spooky symphony that seemed to tell stories of its haunted past. Alex couldn't help but feel a chill run down his spine. Sensing that the Southern Valley Lighthouse held secrets that warranted immediate discovery. A stone on the observation deck of the Southern Valley Lighthouse contained an encrypted message. It was certainly not written by the infamous Zodiac serial killer, but nevertheless, nobody had been able to solve it to date. The stone was weathered and mossy covered, blending seamlessly with the ancient structure of the lighthouse. Its surface bore intricate carvings that hinted at a long-forgotten language, mysterious and compelling. Visitors would often pause to study the cryptic message, tracing their fingers over the unfamiliar symbols, their minds racing with possibilities. After spending a few weeks at the abandoned lighthouse, Alex was finally able to decode the encrypted message. It read as follows. Beneath the moon's soft glow, by the lighthouse's eerie wail. Where the graves stand sentinel, their secrets to unveil. In the heart of the cemetery, where the earth feels frail, lies a chest of secrets, waiting for the seeker to set sail. The message was clearly a tantalizing puzzle, capturing the imagination of historians, cryptographers, and adventurers alike. The promise of hidden treasure and untold stories buried within the nearby graveyard added an air of excitement and intrigue to the Southern Valley Lighthouse. Alex, with a growing sense of anticipation, knew that the now decoded message could lead to the discovery of a lifetime. Very soon, Alex decided to pay a visit to the historic graveyard. This required special permission, which he obtained in no time. Upon studying the engravings on each and every tombstone in the deserted graveyard, 
Alex noticed that one particular tombstone had absolutely nothing inscribed on it. A team of history experts then decided to exhume the coffin that lay beneath this unmarked tombstone. Upon exhuming the coffin, they discovered something mind-boggling. Gold and diamonds worth several thousand dollars lay undisturbed in this historic chest of secrets. After handing over the newly discovered treasure to the government body in charge of the historic graveyard, Alex and his team of history detectives returned to Boston University with a sense of pride and achievement.